Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, leader Nelson Chimisa has pledged to enhance cordial relations with members of the security officers if his party wins this year's harmonized elections. In a review of the year 2022, Chimisa highlighted various ugly scenes which included government allegedly forcing security officers to be partisan, we will honor, protect and work with all men and women in uniform, Chimisa posted on Twitter yesterday, we will and must reward the patriotism and integrity of our security services. We salute our citizens' security services, the citizens' army, citizens' police and citizens' intelligence and prison services. The country's securicrats have played a key role in sustaining ZANU-PF's stay in power by openly campaigning for the ruling party in the past polls. In 2002, the late Army Commander General Vitalis Vinovash declared that the armed forces would not support or salute anyone with a different agenda that threatens the very existence of our sovereignty, our country and our people. The opposition has been calling for the delimitarization of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC, saying the electoral management body is heavily militarized. CCC spokesperson Fadzei Mahir told Newsday that it was important to assure state security officers that their positions were safe in the event of change of government. They are put in place by the constitution, so we will not change them. What we will change are the political leaders and the governance culture to ensure that we have ethical leaders who put the welfare of citizens at the center of all decision making. Mahir said, therefore, it's important for state institutions to understand our disposition on their existence and our attitude and appreciation of the important role that they play in the running of our nation. State security organs have been under spotlight for their perceived partisan role in national governance.